Senator Bear Bryant and former Alabama President George Denny. We're in Bryant Denny Stadium, the site for today's great contest. Alabama is lined up for the opening kickoff, so here we go. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Tackle right around the 36 yard line. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. And he's tackled right away. That's a game on the play. That makes it second and two. They'll spread the field with five wide. Pitch out, got the corner. And they make the stop, the 39-yard line. Some guys are dangerous no matter where they are on the field. Whether they have speed, elusiveness, great vision, whatever the case may be, you have to find ways to get the ball in their hands. And he shoved out of bounds at the 34. That's a gain of five on the play. Coming to you, coming to you. Out of bounds around the 30 yard line. Gaining four on the play. Third down. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. And he's taken down at about the 29 yard line. A gain of a yard on the quarterback keeper. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. He's got it with room to run. He's out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Watkins picks up about three with that catch. I'll tell you, these guys just keep rolling down the field. Quarterback's looking very sharp on this drive. Quick strike to the receiver, and they push him out at the 16. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Nice run there. That brings him second and five. Rose had a man wide open and he missed it. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 11-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Rose complete. He's got room to work. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. In the shotgun and five wideouts. That is great, tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. And he tacks on the extra point. A 12 play, 74 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. Alabama's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. And he throws it away. From 
from their own 25 yard line. Second down. Gets it out quickly. Inside the 30. He's tackled around the 20 yard line. throw out to the receiver. Touchdown time. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Down he goes at the 32. That makes us the crowd of this stadium always a factor in a football game. Brought down at the 41 yard line. First down. quickly and he's got his man and he's tackled at the 45. First down. Keep 15. Keep 15. Watch QB drop. Ready. Check. Line 80. Tiger. Line. Tiger. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Second and 10. Ball on the 45. He's taken down at the third. That's a deep You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Tackle made at the 23. Call it a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Mike eight. Mike eight. Finds a man. Touchdown. That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. And he hits the PAT. Southern Miss is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. 
They'll bring him down at the 28. Gain of three on the way. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Caught open field. Tackle at the 48. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From their own 46 yard line, second down. He's on the run. And they make the stop around the 41 yard line. Throw, he caught it, and he's taken down at about the 31. And they hit him in the backfield. Lost a score on the play. That makes it second and 14. From the 35-yard line, it's second down. And he's hit immediately. complete and he's hit right away. He's wrapped up for the sack. That's a loss of two yards. That'll make it 39. From the 19 yard line. Third down. Fires quick. Tipped. Quick thinking there. You know, they're liable to put the ball in the air on third, so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Golden Eagles really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that they're the big underdog in this game and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Got it. And he goes down quickly. That'll make it second and four. Southern Miss holds a four-point lead. He's going to try and scramble. He's going to take off. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. That's a deep 19 on the play. That, that makes it first and 10. Hey, Mike's 42. Mike's 42. Ah! Ah! 
Quick strike, and he drops it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 35. Just throws this one away. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Got a man tackled for a loss. A four-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. They'll call on the field goal unit. He gets it up. And it sails right on him. No good. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Fights forward to about the 39. He's going to go for the home run. In and out of his hands. Number 11, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. DeLong awaits the snap. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Tackle at the 30-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Southern Miss is up four. He might have a chance. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Mike's 42. Mike's 42. Bring that down. Quick, quick. Press the target. Brought down at the 39. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Excellent open field tackle. That makes us open Everett is waiting for the snap. And he's tackled at the 31 yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. The scoreboard lit up in that first 15 minutes. Southern Miss leads 14-10. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Harris on the give. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Oh, 
Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Southern Miss is up by four. Incomplete, almost picked off. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Zips it left. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. That brings up third and ten. Get this, get this. Mike eight. Mike really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. And he hits him hard at the 14-yard line. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He makes it to the 42-yard line. That makes it second and eight. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. That makes it fourth and eight. The kick is up. It's got the distance. No good. He missed it to the right. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Southern Miss holds a four-point lead. Slings it out there incomplete. Well, the execution here is very good by the offense. The quarterback did a nice job of reading the defense, and puts the ball in a position to be able to make the catch. The problem is the wide receiver did not focus and concentrate and hold on to the ball. Let's go! Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. First down. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. It's second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Listen to this place. He's hit and taken down. Mike 
He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Makes the catch and look out inside the 10. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight-play, 59-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Stein ready to kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. Alabama's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but... I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. Maybe you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. He's to the 40. Looks for his tight end over the middle. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. Gets it out in a hurry. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. Side after a nice pickup. He gets out to about the 25 yard line. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. From the 16-yard line, first down. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. And he is drilled at the 11-yard line. Just throws this one away. And here's another third down. Scrambling around. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Three-yard loss there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on their own 22. Southern Miss is up four. And 
And they make the stop around the 30-yard line. That's a game eight on the play. That'll make it 35. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Completes it across the middle. They'll bring him down to 39-yard line. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's good for a game of five yards. That makes it second and six. Mike eight. Mike eight. Steps out of bounds at the 46. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. Well, I know the receiver isn't too happy, but they got it right after the review. No catch. So we're looking at another third down here. The crowd really making it difficult. Fires out to his receiver. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. Let's go! Here we go! Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. From midfield, second down. Southern Miss is up by four. Tackle at the 40-yard line. Carter brings him down at the 40-yard line. Mike eight. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. And he tackles him hard at the 30. Number 22 on the tackle at the 30 yard line. That makes it first and 10. He's tackled at the 18-yard line. They get about four yards on the pass, and they'll pick up the first down. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Slings it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 12-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Finds a man, touchdown. He's rung up three touchdown tosses in the half. This quarterback is going to continue to tear him up until they get some pressure on him. And he hits the PAT. A 13-play, 75-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. The score now, 28-17. Stein looks ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. 
So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync and really the timing and execution is flawless. brought down quickly. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. The ball pops free. It's picked up by the defense. I'll tell you, when a guy as big as this lineman gets his paws on a loose ball, you can pretty much forget about it. You're not getting the ball back from him. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Second and 10. Ball on their own 47. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Short pass, middle of the field. Brought down around the 48-yard line. Now, I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. They come out in a five-wide set. Had his hands on it and dropped it. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Check, 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 check. Check, They'll line check, up with five wide receivers. is over and this is why they play the game the Golden Eagles in front by 11 hi everybody glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites He's Davis David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes I'm sure both teams have problems in the first half, but one of them, David, not moving the football. Both offenses really ran up and down the field. We see this more in college football, Reese. More success on the offensive side, and it's harder and harder to stop these offenses that continue to get more and more complicated. The defenses, they got no answer. They got to find an answer quick, or else this ball game is just going to go tick for tack the whole second half. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He 
gets out to about the 28-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. And he throws it away. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Harris gets the carry. He's at the 20. And he's finally shoved out at the 14. And he makes it out to about the 11 yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. Just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A nice eight-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this, and another great performance by him individually and for this offense. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Southern Miss holds a four-point lead. But the defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. Gain of 12 yards. First down. They come out in an empty backfield. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. Scooped up by the defense. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's got a little Jekyll and Hyde thing going on here on their defense. Well, they were on their heels the entire first half. You look around now, they're flying around, making a lot of plays, and really giving themselves a chance to maybe win this game. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you, but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. That'll make it second and four. Makes 
makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. They lose three yards there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 28. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Call it a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Mike 42, Mike 42. Hey, we got to get this stop here, Dean. He's at midfield. Knocked out of bounds at the 41 yard line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. made right around the 44-yard line. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Southern Miss is looking to tie things up. Kicks up. So the freshman kicker isn't able to put it through. Still our score, 31-28, Alabama. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Alabama is up a field goal. run there going deep lays it out there complete it's the junior that tackle could have saved a very big play He's got his halfback. Out of bounds around the 10 yard line. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. Right, I thought the quarterback put the ball there where it could have been caught. The receiver's got to do a better job of fighting for the football. When that ball is up in the air and it's between a defender and a receiver, I think the receiver's got to show more effort and a willingness to fight for the football. The safety just knocked that ball away from him. And they push him out the seven-yard line. This one should be makeable. Kicks away. And it's through the uprights. And you gotta think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Alabama's trailing now after building that comfortable lead in the first half, and it's just slipped away. Boy, it's ugly. And, and if you're the quarterback of this offense right now, you're looking around that huddle saying, fellas, just forget about the previous mistakes. Let's put it behind us. We gotta reestablish our offensive rhythm and try to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's on the run. And he's taken down around the 50-yard line. Hey, hey. 
They go back to him on a quick throw. They'll bring him down at about the 49. That brings up second and nine. They'll spread the field with five wide. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. He lets it fly. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Everett to punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Alabama's team's playing very well here in the third quarter, and they're showing why they're ranked where they are right now. Yeah, there's no doubt. The sleeping giant was awakened at halftime, and now this second half, they're starting to really establish who they are and why they have such a big reputation. Alabama up six. Gives it left side. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Call it a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 17. Mike 41, Mike 41. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. Third down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike 41. Going deep. And he hauls it in at the end of that long ball. To the 20. Touchdown. Big play. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. That receiver was so wide open as a quarterback, you just don't want to blow. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you and you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback. So the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. And he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. That brings him second and five. Mike eight. Mike eight. Here we go. Right. Quick, quick, quick. Tackle at the 38. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. Third down, nine to go. Ball on their own 38. They can't hear a thing down there. Once and all, going deep. The defender had it and then dropped it. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Oh, excellent punt. He'll take it from the 18. This receiver's been having himself a great game. Well, not only is he having a great game, but he also just seems to be having fun out there. I think the entire offense, for that matter, the entire team, seems to be responding to his infectious attitude. And now with these two scores, you've got to think that this defense is going to try to do something to slow him down. He's helped them get to this lead, so we'll see if they ask more of him to build an even bigger cushion. Last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. 
You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Gets it out quickly. Brought down to 37-yard line. Gives it to the back. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Gain of one on the play. Right, right, right. That brings up second and nine. 41's coming. 41's a mic. They go. Throws a bullet over the middle. And down he goes. Around the 28-yard line. He fights forward to about the 26. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 26. Big play, and it's first and goal. Steps out at the four-yard line. That brings him second and goal. And he throws it away. It's third and goal, and they're about four yards out. It's away from him, touchdown! Yeah. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 10 play, 71 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Golden Eagles have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Yeah, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock. Just go out there and try to get a first down. Try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. Alabama's in front by 20. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. They come out in a five-wide set. Caught him, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From their own 22-yard line. Third down. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. 
and he's tackled around the 30-yard line. He's pushed out of bounds around the 34-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. He's taken down at the 34. That makes it second and 10. Makes it out to about the 23. And they get nice yardage on that run. Runs outside for a nice game. Two times, two times. Mike 41, Mike 41. Go, Mike 38. They'll go ground. He gets out to about the 12 yard line. Quick throw. Tackle made at about the nine yard line. That makes it third and seven. Ball inside the ten yard line. Third down. And he's sacked. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and to cause him some problems. They're going to go for the easy three here. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Alabama is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. Nothing can impact an offense more negatively than being stopped on a series of downs. And that's what happened to this offense the last time they were out. It's not just the quarterback's job to try to get this offense going. I think it starts up front with a veteran offensive line. See what kind of leadership they have to try to change this thing around. He unloads it. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Third and six, ball in the 29. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. He's hit and taken down. There's another pass to the tight end, and he's got it. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. Gets to about the 34-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. He gets hit out of bounds at the 29. the catch and look out and he's taken down at the 20-yard line the 
That makes it first and ten. Fires quickly to the tight end. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Nice run up the middle. That's a game of four on one way. That brings him second to goal. There's a flag down on the field, and I'm betting that this one is pass interference. Pass, pass interference. interference. Defense. Defense. That's one of those cases Automatic where, as a defender, down. you have to take action that results in a flag because it's better than giving up six points. It's first down. Big opportunity to score here inside the five. It's first down and goal. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. That makes it second and six. Throws it in a hurry, and he's hit before it can go anywhere. Number two, two makes the set to go. The third one will go. That'll make it third and five. Let's see what you got. Set, set, bring that 200. Wants to go long and does. Got it. To the 20, to the 10. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. That's a game of 66 on the way. That makes it first and goal. It's our time. My game, my game. And he hits him hard at the four. No game. That brings him second and goal. Pitches out of the ball is up for grabs. Picks up the fumble. You love to see your playmakers on defense coming through and creating some breaks, which is exactly what the safety did. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Alabama comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at about the 25-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 25. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. Gets out to around the 35. First and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. And he 
he makes it out to about the 37 yard line. Fights forward to about the 39. Game of two yards. Third down. Alabama's staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.